In this video, we are going to discuss organizing data and frequency distribution. So, frequency distribution. A frequency distribution is the organization of raw data in table form using classes and frequencies. So, here we are having a set of data. So, at first we are trying to find out the minimum data out of them. So, intentionally I have marked the minimum one here and then we should have to find out the maximum data in this range. So, intentionally I have marked this 90 because 90 is the maximum data here. Now, we have decided that we shall go on representing this data in this tabular form in 8 different classes. So, 35 to 41, 42 to 48 in this way we are having 84 to 91. So, here we have defined 8 different classes are there. So, now these are known as the lower class limit, this is upper class, class limit, lower class limit, upper class limit. Also, you can convert it to the lower class boundary and upper class boundary in this way deducting 0.5 from here. So, it will become 34.5 and adding 0.5 here. So, it will become 40.5, 41.5. So, here deducting 0.5 from here. So, it will become 41.5 and adding 0.5 here. So, it will become 48.5. So, in this way we are having the respective class limits we are having. So, now this is our raw set of data and here we are having the respective class limits and also we can express this one using class boundaries as I discussed. And then we shall find out that which data is falling in which class limits. So, accordingly the tally mark has been produced and from this tally mark we have written the respective integer values of this against this tally marks in the frequency column. So, how many number of data we are having? We are having here. 50 number of data. So, obviously, the frequency sum will be total is equal to 50. Next one we are going for the categorical frequency distribution. The categorical frequency distribution is used for data that can be placed in a specific category such as nominal or ordinal level data. So, let us consider the following distribution of blood types. So, here we are having 25 army inductees. So, their respective blood, blood types we have listed here. So, now here we are having these classes that means distinct blood types. So, A, B, O and A, B. So, they are belonging here. So, distinct set we have made. So, respective tally marks. So, how many times is A is appearing? How many times B is appearing here? Then the respective frequencies we have expressed in the form of integers and that is a percentage frequency we are calculating. So, this 25 is the total frequency because we are having 25 army inductees. So, this 5 is out of 25 is 20 percent. So, in this way the respective percentage frequency also we have calculated and obviously the sum of the percentage frequency will be 100 here. So, in this way we can organize our data and we have explained this one with some examples. Thanks for watching this video.